Hi, this is Shekhar Srinivasan, a Microsoft Certified Trainer, Pluralsight Author, MVP, Shishop Corner. List view in Xamarin Forms it can be customized in three different ways. Whenever we require a master detail information, then we can use text cell for the customization. And along with the master detail information, if we require an image also, then we can use image cell for the customization. And other than these two requirements, if any user specific requirement exists, then we can use view cell for customization. In this video, I will explain practically how to customize the list view using text cell, image cell and also view cell. Now let us get started. I have already opened my Visual Studio .NET and I am using VS .NET 2017 RC for the demo. Let me click on file menu new project. Let me select the cross platform app template and let me provide a meaningful name for example list view customization and let me click on ok button. As I wanted to create the app from the blank let me select blank app XAML and at the sharing let me select PCL and click on accept button. It will take some time to create the solution as it needs to create multiple projects. In order to design the application efficiently, let me use MVVM design pattern for this application. For the people who are not aware of MVVM design pattern, it stands for model view view model, where the model maintains the data, acts like a repository, maintains the business logic layer, validation logic, etc. And view is used to provide the user interface for the application. And view model takes the responsibility of the view. That is, everything what a view requires, a view model needs to provide that, which includes the data and also the command behaviors. Please watch my video on implementing MVVM design pattern in Xamarin Forms application for clear understanding of this pattern. Now let us continue. Let me first create three folders model, view model and finally view. The first step we require is a model class. So let me right click on the model folder and add a new class. Let me provide a meaningful name, for example, speaker. Since the model class should be public, let me type in public. Now, let me define the speaker class. When I say a speaker, I require the speaker name, topic to be taken by the speaker, details about the speaker and also the image of the speaker. So, let me type in public string speaker name public string topic, public string short description, public string image URL. Now I need the data also. So let me type in public list of speaker get speakers. Since I need the collection of speakers, let me type in list of speaker speakers equal to new list of speakers. Speakers is the data which I wanted to return. So let me type in written speakers. Now let me add the speaker details to the speakers collection using the collection initializer. You can add any data as per your requirement. Once the model is created, now let us define the view model required for our application. So let me add a class and I would like to provide a meaningful name for example speaker view model. Since the view model should be a public class let me type in public and the requirement of my view is to display the list of speakers. So let me type in public list of speaker speakers and now let me add a constructor and now in order to set the speakers collection, let me type in speakers equal to. We can get the speakers data using the getSpeakers method of speaker model class. 
But since the get speakers method is a non static method, let me type in new speaker dot get speakers. Now, once we have completed our view model, let me add a view for the speakers. So, let me right click on the view folder and click on add new item, select cross platform and select forms XAML page. And let me provide a meaningful name for example, speaker view. Now let us design the view for the speakers. So let me type in content page dot content, stack layout, spacing equal to 10, padding equal to 10. I would like to provide the heading for this view. So let me type in label text equal to C sharp conference 2017 agenda font size equal to 34. Now I would like to have the list view to display the speakers. So let me type in list view x colon name equal to list speakers. In order to customize the list view items, we need to set the item template of the list view. So let me type in list view dot item template and we need to customize the data template. So let me type in data template. I already informed that a list view can be customized in three ways. So now let us understand one by one. If you recollect, I informed that whenever we require the master detail information to be displayed by the list view, we can use text cell. So let us first understand how to customize the list view using text cell. Let me type in text cell. I wanted to display the topic name as the master data and the speaker name as the detail information. So we need to type text equal to binding topic, text color equal to purple, detail equal to binding speaker name, detail color equal to maroon. Now let me open the code behind page of content page. We need to set the item source for the list view control. So let me type in speaker view model VM. Within the constructor, let me create an instance for the view model. So let me type in VM equal to new speaker view model. Once the view model object is created, now let us set the item source for the list view control. So let me type in list speakers dot item source equal to vm dot speakers. Now let me set the main page for the application. So let me open the app dot xaml dot cs file and let me first comment the default main page and now let me type in main page equal to new speaker view. Let us execute the page. We can observe the list view is displaying the topic name as the master data and the speaker name as the detail data. Now let us understand the second way of customizing the list view control that is along with the master and detail information if we require an image then if you recollect I informed that we can use image cell. Now let us understand how to customize the list view using the image cell. First let me comment text cell. Now let me type in image cell. Since I require the master and detail information, let me copy the code from the text cell and paste at the image cell. Now in order to provide the source for the image, let me type in image source equal to binding image URL. In the last case, I have set the item source at the code behind. We can also set the item source through data bindings. So at the list view tag, so at the list view tag, let me type in item source equal to binding, the property which provides the data for the list view that is speakers. Now within the code behind, let me comment the line which sets the item source. And since we have to set the item source, 
using the data bindings we need to set the binding context property of the content page where binding context property is used to set or get object that contains the properties that will be targeted by the bound properties that belongs to the bindable object so let me type in binding context equal to vm now let me execute the application we can observe the image of the speaker the topic as the master data and the speaker name as the detail information now if you get any requirement other than displaying the master detail information or image and the master detail information then we need to use view cell for the customization now let us understand how to customize the list view control using the view cell so first let me comment the image cell in order to customize using view cell we need to type in view cell view cell dot view here we need to design the user interface as per the requirement so let me type in stack layout spacing equal to 5 label text equal to binding topic font size equal to 20 text color equal to purple image source equal to binding image url let me set the width and height for the image so let me type in width request equal to 150 height request equal to 150 label text equal to binding speaker name font size equal to 18 label text binding short description font size equal to 18 now let me execute the page we can observe the data is not displayed properly so remember one important point whenever we use view cell for customization since there will be some variations in the size of the rows we need to set the list view uneven rows property so let me type in has uneven rows equal to true now let me execute the page again we can observe the list view has been customized to show the topic name and then the image of the speaker followed by the speaker name and the short description about the speaker hope you have enjoyed this video as much as i enjoyed in preparing this video in the next video i will update the sample to consume the data from the rest service and also will update the code to support the navigation if you like this video please subscribe my channel and give a like this encourages me to produce more videos if you want to contact me leave a comment or you can contact me using any of the below details. Happy programming.